Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. I'm over at Rebel Base for a grand opening of the new Hot Toys store. Before we go up, you can see me in the background there. Grand opening soon. Uh, just a little bit of background first, which is Hot Toys started Toy Hunters around early 2000. That was the first shop there. Then the second shop came about, which is a showroom based at the back of uh, CTMA Center which is Cedo Center on the 20th floor, and that is Secret Base. Now we have Rebel Base, which is at Harbor City, fourth floor. So let's go up and check out how it looks. The first thing that I think you guys should notice is that TST, Dim Sajo, is a very expensive area. It has the high-end shops like Gucci, uh, Prada, LV, so just the rent alone is very, very high-end. If we come across, you will see this showing out in the shop front here. So as this is the grand opening, they have things for the press and invitation people. They even have popcorn with their dress. So moving across, if you look at this display, start off in the middle. If you want to zoom in just a little bit here, look at the display. They have LED inside the window creating the um, different pictures and the writing. And you'll see a little bit later the Rebel Base logo, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Very high tech look for this, for this new showroom. Now this store will have things available to purchase. Some more of the display here. So if we're moving across over this side here, moving across over here, just the flowers, the company supporting Hot Toys and Rebel Base display. Then moving around, we have the shop window front. These are the latest figures on display, which are mainly from uh, Infinity War. We have Thor Ragnarok figures. Some of these are the prototypes and the final release versions. So here, rather unique figures and something that hasn't been shown. Now this figure here, which is the Diecast Concept Art Mark 46, there have been quite a few photos circulating, mainly from China. And hopefully you can see in this particular lighting, which is a lot more professional, you can see how vibrant and sharp this figure looks in real life. And moving across, a little bit further down, is the Captain America concept art version. A lot of people are looking forward to this figure. It could be one of the best Captain America figures. It has the iconic shield on both hands here. And this is something I would say is almost an exclusive. We have the Iron Spider box that hasn't been seen yet. So it looks like, therefore, from Hong Kong, the Iron Spider is due for release very, very soon. It may well be before Christmas. Just one other thing I want to show you guys. On the side here, on both sides, over there, and on the right-hand side here, these are all the Hot Toys celebrity photos that they've taken with the actors. So here you have Anthony Mackie who plays Falcon with his Falcon figure. And then Scarlett Johansson with her Black Widow figure. So it looks like Hot Toys have got a great uh, connection and network with the Marvel figures. And not only that, the Star Wars actors, just a great network across the world. Tom Hiddleston, one of my favorite actors, playing Loki. So moving across a little bit more to the last display window over this direction, we have more Star Wars, John Wick Matrix figures. Head sculpts on this, pretty detailed, and I would say one of the best John Wick head sculpts out there so far along with Neo from The Matrix and Agent Smith. You can also see in the background the Star Wars figures, not only the quarter scales are on display, but some of the one six scales in the cabinets at the back, over here, just over there. 
and over on the right hand side here. So I think collectors will be able to see that this is a little bit of a bigger shop and showroom that's a little bit bigger than for example Toy Hunters in Mong Kok but not as big as Secret Base. So I think we're allowed to even go in. Can we go in? Let's go in, let's go in. So let's have a quick tour of the shop from this side over here. This is, I would say, more of the Iron Man side where they have some exclusives from China, which is the Mark IV, the Mark VI, 24 and the 27 that may well be available for purchase. I will say for more walk-in uh, collectors and tourists, maybe from mainland China, but definitely for more overseas collectors. And you can see the Iron Man display there. Now, it is a little bit smaller than the secret base uh, display, for example. But no matter, this is a great display. And if collectors want to pick up some pose ideas, there are some great poses from the staff at Secret Base and the people who work at Hot Toys. So we move across a little bit more. This is my, more of the Marvel um, Cos Baby collection. And also some of the, I would say, kid friendly area. Some of these are actually available to, to, for purchase as well. Some of the older figures. I might have to buy some of these for my kids because I know they're going to love these actually. <laughs> um, so moving across over here, some more older figures available for purchase. So I think this is a very good testament that this is for more walk-in collectors who are just passing through Hong Kong, who think that looks fantastic, I want to pick that up. Some more items for the kids and for those in China that go to maybe the Shanghai uh, Disney store, uh, some of these items are, can be picked up. Now, I have been messaged about where can I get some of these cos babies because some of the overseas distributors like Sideshow or Big Bad Toy Store don't actually have them available, but you can actually walk in and purchase these from Rebel Base, sometimes from Toy Hunters and also Secret Base. Let's continue over this side, which is more the DC franchise, showing some of the Batmans available. Justice League and then moving down hopefully collectors here will get some pose ideas because if you get an opportunity to come to either Secret Base or Toy Hunters some of the best poses of figures in the world I would say are here and moving across here we have a huge three panel LCD screen that shows off the conventions that Hot Toys have done mostly in Hong Kong but in other countries maybe in China but it's the fact that they're so diverse in terms of their displays. If we move across a little bit more over the other side, we almost have the full collection of their Cos Baby range. It's very extensive. I think they actually have more than this. Yeah, they definitely have more than this here, but they have majority of it on display here. Um, definitely something for the kids and that's what's going to get you. The addiction the kids to start off with $20 Cos Baby figures or displays that they think, actually, mum, dad, I'd like to have the bigger version of this when I'm a little bit older. So they move from the Cos Baby range up to one sixth scale, maybe quarter scale. And some of these are not only, I would say, static poses, but quite action poses. This Thor, this Hulk from Thor Ragnarok is pretty funky. Go we'll check out that look there. Some of the more memorabilia ones at the top here. Pretty funky as well. So I think that is pretty much as the overall look for Rebel Base. I hope you guys enjoy this exclusive first look. And I have here in my hands the Concept Arts Diecast Mark 46. This is being available to people in Hong Kong now. And hopefully I can get one of these very shortly as well. Other than that, is there anything else you want to say about this quick walk around at Rebel Base? I just want to take it out and go home. Bye bye. 
Anyway, little, a little bit later on, I think there's a grand opening, probably um, in about half an hour, an hour's time, that may be going live as well. So if you actually want to see Rebel Base open to the general public, tune in for that when we do a live show. It'll be either be on Facebook or on YouTube. So look out for Toys TV Hong Kong, and we'll catch you all at the next video.